Hazy Heads, we are back again. Another episode. Let's do it nice. It's Will again. Miguel. Yeah, we're back. Nice up. Um, Talk to me, bro. Happy I got Friday. Friday. I got, happy Friday. I got four new beers for you. Yes, we do. Yes. Four new beers. Before we get started, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Um, it's just going to help us get more content out there. Again, Tell us what beers to try. We've had a few people tell us a few things. Yes, sir. We'll get around to it, but um, we'll just keep it going. Miguel, let's talk about these beers. We got uh, four beers. Like I said, we got one. This one right here, we got Cellar Maker. We got uh, from San Francisco. We got another one from San Francisco. It's called San Francisco Brewery. We got uh, Moonraker out of Auburn. It's called Cool Cool. We've had them before. Yes, yes. and uh, everybody knows about Great Notion, so we got another. This is uh, dessert beer, so... Yeah. You know, we're going to try them out. We're going to start from here, and we're going to move our way over there. Once again, sponsoring our show, you know, Chef John Catering Company. That's right. Always going to be cooking up the good food, and then International Pastries, putting out the tasty pastries. Don't forget, Warriors are finally having fans, so please go check out Joltable Cafe, yes. International Pastries, or International Pastries. Go check them out. Get some food. Make it happen. Make it happen. Support Even the locals. warrior tickets are like $400. Yes. <sighs> I'd rather see them on TV, bro, to be honest with you. I'm good. Whatever. I ain't got this that type is. of money right now. I gotta pay my car bills. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, but sir. But on that note, um, so what are we going to try first, Leo? Oh, we're trying the Cellar Maker. This is called Cloudy with a Chance of Do Biz. Yes. Cellar meaning, Maker in San meaning, Francisco. Meaning correct. business. Hazy beer. San Francisco. San Francisco, right? yes, yes. And I got these nice cups from Slice Brewery. Big shout out to Slice Brewery. I picked them up recently. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yes. This popped this bad boy open. And this one yes. has uh, a little bit of citrus, a more more fruity type with uh, pineapple, uh, orange, and guava. It's a 6.8% beer. So, uh, Single IPA? Single, yes, sir. Single. Yes, it is. What are the hops up in there? Hops. The, uh, what do you mean, like hops? Talk to me. Is it Sim a Simcoe or? Is it yeah, yeah, no, it's a uh, Citra. 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 Citra hops. Yes. Got it. Got yes, it. sir. Uh, what's, I, what's the IBUs on it? Oh, IBUs. I think it's between. Uh, this one is between uh, thirty and forty. Yes. Yeah, so that's a good beer. Nice. Nice. Like I said, from thirty to sixty, not too like bitter type. And you got the nineties, bro. You'd be like, oh man, that's really bitter. So. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, uh, the stout that I had recently from Slice Brewery, it was actually 105. Holy bananas. Yes, yes. How was, was that? It was, dude, it was 12%. <laughs> put hair on my chest. <laughs> you mean hair in your back or what? <laughs> all, all the above. Ugh. So, um, yeah, so let's do the smell test. That's good, bro. Oh, I smell the fruity in there. Look at those pineapples. Beautiful. Yeah, make sure you take that nice little guzzle before yeah. and give it that, like, okay. Right, let's taste let's this Let's taste the bad boy. Yes. Nice little beauty, nice little cups, man. Oh, yeah. For what we do, tasting, mm, so good. That's good, man. Oh, no, super, super good. That's like a... And this is a hazy, right? Yeah, it's hazy. Look at that haze right there. That's beautiful. I'm going to have to refill mine because that one's good. Go ahead. Really delicious and stuff like that. Well, last episode, I was, Mikel wasn't with me, so. I'm, I'm a little jealous. It's all I good. Feel, I feel a little bit betrayed, but you know what? You was on <laughs> vacay and you had to do your thing. With yeah, us. you know, the show must continue and, um, you know, we I had a special guest, Allison, you know, yes. she was cooking up. And by the way, I seen the YouTube, it was really good. Yeah, it wasn't bad, it was you know. Good. Um, yes. Different beers, we didn't do so much. I, I changed up the game a little bit. I did some like more porters. I did uh, I did keep some hazies in there. Yeah. And then I added uh, a little cider because where she lives, Pollock Pines is that Apple Hill. Yes. So, oh yeah. More like more like uh, yeah. You said ciders. Yeah. A lot a lot more cider beer and things like that. I'm not a big fan of actually. You know, cider beer is not bad. You know, I, I'll have a cider beer. Excuse me. Before I even started drinking hazy beers. Uh, sour beers. I was really into the uh, cider. Ciders, yeah. Ciders aren't bad. They, yeah. they they do taste good. Yeah, they, they do they taste do. good. 
no, since, I dig it. Since I tried the hazies, I'm like, I didn't even look back. I'm like, you know what? This is the beer to go. That's uh, why we call hey, hazy heads, bro. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And then it was Miguel's birthday recently. Happy early birthday. Look, he went from flashcards to the <laughs> iPad. Uh, iPad. I, hey, I, I, I upgraded. It's good. So, 40 years old. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Feeling healthy. Oh, you look yeah. healthy. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so, yeah. Our theme, so our theme party was 80, so everybody was dressed up. Yes. Obviously, you were there. You were, yes. Who were you? Were? Who was? I was actually uh, Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. I had I'll... a wig, short, <laughs> the short shorts. I didn't shave my legs. Oh, my God. That was... I'm naturally tan. Not too tan, but naturally tan because I'm Latino but you know gotta show the legs off the I ain't gonna lie off a little bit I look like a Richard Simmon on steroids I ain't gonna but lie. it's all good I ain't gonna <laughs> lie you pulled it off by far the best 80s I, I made my costume <laughs> out of my mom's tank top I cut some pajama pants from uh, Old Navy I grabbed my ASIC shoes, which your nephew gave me a hard time about it. That's <laughs> all good. He's though. like, dude, my grandma wears shoes like that. I was like, dang. Yeah. Cold blooded. Cold blooded. Cold blooded, my man. No, but it, was, it was all good. You it know? was good. I was. Uh, I was having a good time. More uh, dressed up, more of a hip hop artist in the eighties. I was easy. Of course. Yeah. And the rest of your family. Was yes. Like, around DMC. And no. You know. The, I get it. With the kangaroo hat on. I get it. I get it. I yeah, get come it. on, man. You gotta, you gotta support the 80s, brother. Yeah. I'm sure when you hit... Kel, you're stuck in the 80s. We had this conversation last time. Hey, it's okay. That's why, you know, <laughs> I, I updated from my iPad. Yes. But um, back to the beer. Uh, Cellar Maker, this is delicious. Yes. Um, Big shout out to them, man. That was, they always put out, pull out the best beers. Yeah. And, you know, like I said... It's not best beers, but good beers, yeah. you know? But I, I, I... You know, we can't... I ain't gonna lie, but they, they're... We're trying to be biased no more. No, so yeah. We're trying a whole bunch of different I, I swear, flavors, so... I swear, every Bay Area, they got good beer. It's like, yeah. I can say Cellar Makers got good beer, but I can also say Blue Char... Blue Oak, I'm sorry, Blue Oak, out of Belmont, correct? Yes. They got good beer, too. Yeah. Alpha Asset, out of... Yes. Yeah, they got good beer, too, yeah. man. St. Carlos or no? Yeah, St. Carlos, I'm gonna say yeah. St. Carlos. Yeah, St. Carlos. So, you know... I think Blue Oak is St. Carlos, too. Yeah. Devil's Canyon is Belmont. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, like I said, all the beers from around the Bay Area, not just the Bay Area in general. But it's it's. I mean, Northern California, all the way down south. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, we're gonna pull some from down south. As yes, well. I got a few that I'm gonna I want to post and I want to try out. Even so. though I'm a San Francisco born, I hate L. I don't hate L. A. Look, I'm not gonna hate on L. A. <laughs> you know, I just don't like the Dodgers. It's okay. Fair, you know, but. Um, my cousin lives in LA. I support LA. Hollywood's fun. I have my blast, but when it comes to sporting, you got it. You know, you got Cali, Cali North, baby. Yes. <laughs> All the way. Giants, A's over here. Yes. Yes. Battle of the Bay, baby. Battle of the Bay. Yes. And we, we're doing pretty good but right now. But down south, you know, breweries where we'll show love, but when it comes to team sports, uh, yes. I don't know about that. Yes. So. Exactly, man. So. You know, it is what it is, man. We got, well, we got Chef John about to drop the food for us. Um, we're just waiting for him to line up the plates and uh, everything. He got always the delicious the, dishes and things best. like that. And we're going to just go from there. Chef John is back, ready to drop us the food. Yes. So let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. Let's go it. Sup, guys. I got you guys today to match this beer and the next beer from San Francisco with potato croquette. With a robust tomato parmesan cream sauce, it's gonna go well with both beers. You guys bite in and enjoy. Thank low, you, sir. Low key, they're potato balls. Get over here. In a sense, potato <laughs> balls. <laughs> Culinary standpoint, it's a croquette. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I was giving a hard time earlier, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dude, man. When yes, it comes yes. to food, when it comes to food, bro. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. He's my chef. Dude, that smells bomb. Let's take in, bro. I want to try these bad boys. Look at that, guys. It's a good. What is it, croquet, chef? Croquet. There croquette. It is. Let's dip in the sauce. Oh my god. Mm. All right, let's taste the beer with food. I like these little cups, man. Mmm. Potato always goes good with beer. Oh my god. Hands down. And then the sauce. I ain't gonna lie, but 
when we do this podcast, bro, how can you not enjoy a, a fabulous meal, bro? Oh, always. Right? I never eat before I come. <laughs> and the good beer, bro. So. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we did tear down such good beers for your birthday. Oh. Well. We went through. We had about 25 craft beers. That oh, day. we had. The, the, the aftermath. Check, with, our, check our Instagram. We have the whole yes. lineup of all yeah. the beers. Remember, smash that like button. Yes. But and follow us on uh, Instagram, Instagram, Hazy Heads, please. Appreciate it. Hazy underscore heads. Yes, please, man. I'll leave it. I'll leave the list of the beers on the comments below mm. of where you can find them on the websites and where they're located, as well as I'll put our Instagram page as well. That's right, man. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. I'm waiting on you, Uncle brother. Han. I'm waiting on you. Mm. Good job. Everyone cheers. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, fellas. And ladies. Yes. Yes. Can't leave the ladies. I know a bunch of ladies who love beer. I they. I do too. I know a lot. So it's just not guys that love beers. It's the ladies too. I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. Because uh, this is uh, called the uh, Velvet Hammer Hazy. It's uh, Imperial Double IPA. It's a 9.5. Mm-hmm. And they're in San Francisco Brewery. It's called San Francisco Brewery. Yeah. Um, the brewer- One of their main breweries is on uh, Fisherman's Wharf. And actually, you got this beer. Yes, I did. Yes. Yes, I did yes. get it. This yeah. one um, has a good kick. Great flavor. And, you know, very tasty and things like that. Yes. And it, it didn't say how much what's in it, but uh, we can taste it and, and you can tell me what you think what's in it. If you think it's Citra, if you think there's some Mosaic in there, uh, you know, some Strata, some uh, Galaxy. I don't know. It didn't give me too much information on this beer, but hey. I mean the the IBUs. What was on it? I think it was fifty. Right? Yeah, it was fifty five. Like I said, like I said, it's it's a like I said from thirty to sixty. That's that's good. But if you want that that hoppy, like you had the stout at Alice's, yeah. right? Yeah. That was that was kind of like oh shit, put some hair on my chest. Yeah. No, this this has kick. So um, let's let's do the, the smell test. What do you smell, bro? Because I haven't had this one, babe. Bro. I smell fruity, though. I can smell the hazy, for sure. Man. But for a double 9.5, that's pretty strong, That's strong, man. That'll actually put some hair in my chest, too, bro. It's pretty good. All right, let's let's try it, it and I'll let you do the first guzzle. Let's taste with food. So, let's go. I'm going to prep this up. All right, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. I'm following you. Let's go for it. Wow. Mmm. That goes really well. That's good. And, oh my God. That's good. Oh, it goes it's so well. bomb, dude. This beer oh, is hella man. good. Mm-hmm. Man. Oh yeah, how you like that? Well, that one's perfect. <laughs> It doesn't even taste like a 9.5. It tastes like a like a 6.5. You can't even taste how strong it is. Yeah, but those are the creepers. Yes, I know. <laughs> you know, you're you're on a date. Oh man. Oh my god. Well, I don't know what it feels you're like. Trying to, to you're trying to impress, and next thing you know, you you calling Uber to pick you up, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, builds real. Am I am I am I speaking facts or what, bro? A little bit. <laughs> this one's good, but I'm gonna have to pick this one up. So I know you picked up some new Jordans for your birthday. Talk yes, actually, um, so, mm, actually, my cousin got me some Jordan One Defiance, all red ones. They're pretty cool shoes, man. You know, um, like I said, I'm a big Jordan fan. I collect Jordans. Um, my cousin Mondo, he 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 has way more than I do, so he actually. You know, for my birthday, he always gives me uh, a Jordans, a pair of Jordans every time. Oh, yeah. No, and I always bless him with a pair of Jordans, too, on his birthday. 
and for Christmas. So every year I expect two pair of Jordans from him. Every year he expects two two Jordans from me. So I get yeah. it. So you know we're 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 Jordan. Uh, and then Mondo's a big beer head. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna have him soon. Pretty soon. We just gotta find a right time because his work schedule is pretty pretty busy. Hey, you live in California, you gotta work hard. Yes. It's just the way it is. The the, the price of living here is, is very, <laughs> yeah, very high. Yeah, you said that right. Mm, this one's good. Oh, boy. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, but this goes really good with the beer. It goes real good. Mm -hmm. Real good. Man. I think I'm going to be like feeling like, whoa, after this podcast over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> so. We do have Chef John about to pull out our next food and yes. stuff like that. So, I mean, we're, we're jamming along. So, you know, um, let's pull out the next beer in a second. Yes, sir. All right, Miguel, let's pull out that next beer. That third beer? Okay. Yeah, this, yep. Let's do it. it open, man. So, this bad boy uh, is from, uh, it's called the Cool Cool. Yeah. It's from Moonraker out of Auburn. Up, up in, north. Up north yeah. by, by Sacramento. Yes. Not too far. Uh, the percentage on this bad boy, you got a seven point, seven point, seven point percent. Uh, it's got a um, mango fruit punch, pineapple, with some mosaic and some galaxy. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. Yeah. So uh, this. And then uh, we got Chef John about to drop the food too. So yes. let's pop that open. I'm not gonna lie. Smell test. I'm not gonna lie, but I had this beer. Sorry to cut you off. I didn't. Ha I had this beer about a year ago. Okay. So sometimes these it's beers. A, it's a comeback. Then. It's a comeback. So sometimes these beers taste a little different from the last beer from the last batch. Why? What do you think? Do you think maybe upgrades, mm -hmm. things like that? Not, not that because it might be a little bit more upgrades. But what I'm saying is that sometimes they put they they pull out the beer a little small batch. So when people request for the beer more, it becomes a bigger batch. So it tastes a little bit different. So they can put a little bit more hops into that beer. You know what I mean? So. You know, some people like like I said last year I tried it. It it, it was really good, so I want to see how it tastes this year. Like I said, it might be a little bit more fruity, a little bit more hazy. But hey, I'm gonna give my input right now on it. Okay. Yeah, I don't All think right. it, I don't think yeah I think this is your first time trying it. So yeah, no, I've never tried that. Yeah, let's just try it. Oh, so it's a straight pale ale. This is yeah exactly. So IPA traditional. Yeah, ain't New England style, bro. It's got a little hazy into it too. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, you forgot how to pour or what? Yeah, I'm already <laughs> feeling myself, bro. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. So, tell me more about these shoes. What are they, red? Or? They're, they're, uh, so, the shoes that I got for my birthday, uh, my cousin, uh, I obviously gave it to me for my birthday. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I probably won't wear them for the next... I'll probably put them on with my... Like, oh, you don't never wear your shoes. I know. I hoard my shoes. He never wears his shoes. <laughs> What'd you say? The the guy that wears the same uh, pair of Jordans, uh, the four the four pair of Jordans I, wore, I rock every time I, I go out somewhere. <laughs> we have so many. I know. I know. Oh I know. No, but the shoes he got me, they're Jordan 1's retros. Uh, man, I wish I could have just brought it here and be like, yo. Well, like, next time, let's, let's bring a few pair of your shoes and show people, like, this what is what want. I'm about. Yeah, this what is what about. I rock. Yeah. Yes. You know? Um, I'm gonna. Yeah, I did forget how to pour, bro. So no, I'm, you I'm not even gonna try because I'm already feeling myself. <laughs> All right, let's do our I, smell test. I, I blame you, bro. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> yes. You smell that fruity? Yeah, I do smell the fruity. Mm. It smells good, right? Yeah. Like I said, I had this beer a year ago, man. And when I tried it, I'm like, wow, this is really good. It smells good. Dude. And and all these beers, like we all these beers, they come out this year. Let's let's just for instance, this beer came it came out. It'll come out again next year. Yes. You know what I mean? So like I said, these beers come out every year. They it's the same beer and either they taste the same or they taste a little different. All 
right, man. Chef John's about to bring out the next. Oh, course Chef of John's on it already, or what? Let's go, John. Tell me what you're talking about. All right, guys. So what I got for you guys for the second meal is I got a goat cheese jalapeno apricot crostini topped yes. with a poached pear and edible flowers, and we're gonna match that. To go with a roasted leek and sun choke creamy soup. Wait, this, this is, is gonna it. match the beer perfectly. The hops, the strongness of it, the everything about it is gonna go with this. This is absolutely perfect with this beer. Can't wait for you guys to enjoy it. Oh, hold on, chef. What do you mean by edible flowers? This is a marijuana. <laughs> no, no, just no, joking. No, no. I, I know it's 420 week, uh, but no, we're no. messy. We don't mess around with the 420. <laughs> These are edible flowers picked oh up God, from our beautiful, local <laughs> produce company uh, in San Francisco. This is the best we can put on this plate. This is going to be an amazing little appetizer. Something just to kind of like enjoy the night yeah, it when it's been a long right? week. It's springtime. Just about yeah, springtime. Like what do you mean? It is springtime. Hey, like Stevie April B. showers bring May flowers. Hey, enjoy, guys. Like Stevie B. Come back to me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm Come on, Miguel. Sorry. Keep singing. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. You're going to make a crowd happy. Cheers, but before. I haven't smelled this yet. Hold on. No, it's pretty. It's dude. good, bro. It smells good. All right, let's do I this. have good taste buds from last year, so I'm gonna see if this tastes the same. Oh, that is good. That is good. Chef, we dip the bread in the. No. Damn. We just eat straight up. Yep. Both are separate but unique together. Dude, this is. That beer is fire, and this is gonna taste even better. Mm hmm. What do you think, bro? Oh, that one's good. Mm hmm. Because this beer is a little hazy, but it's traditional IPA, but it has such a good taste. And you just, just taste everything, bro. You taste the, 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 the fruits, the hop. It's, it tastes good, bro. And it's a 7%, bro. It's not too strong. It's just perfect, bro. Perfect to end the week. Perfect to end the week, man. And hey, cheers, guys. Gotta be cool, cool. All right, Let's taste the soup. <sighs> That's just a good blend. Damn, man. That is that such is a good blend. Winning, bro. When I say winning, it's good. I like good cheese though. It's not bad. It's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Really good. Refill? Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. But I'm gonna refill too. Don't tell me twice. No. Mm -hmm. I'm a rookie when I hang out with you, bro. So, I just put it that way. <laughs> I got character. Oh man. God. Mm. That is really that is really that is good, man. Mm. Man, this, this chef always impressed me every time. Every time. He had us over for win uh last uh Wednesday and man Bomb up bomb dude it's just like he makes his own creation on food man it's just ridiculous dude nice mm-hmm man the soup the soup is fire man oh yeah once again fellas hit that like Button, please. Represent. Ladies and gems. Yes. Hit that like button. Please. Yes. 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 Thank you, bro. Oh, so good. I don't know, bro, but I'm I'm like feeling myself right now, bro. Well, I'm feeling. Like, from, I'm feeling. I'm feeling like Mike Dre right now. I'm in the club and I'm feeling myself. What percentage is this one? This was that, a, That's a six point eight, nine point five, seven percent. 
course, of course. And like I said, I am, I have you. You outdo me when it comes to drinking mm-hmm. and eating. Yeah. Oh, I could eat for days. Yeah. Yes, man. Oh man, that's so good. That's bomb, right? Oh, so filling. that's good, bro. We we you know what? I know we come out with the same not not the same beers, but the same company beers. I I, I need to get myself into like, I need to just. Oh, well, we will. Yeah, I don't want to myself out. out there, man. We will. Like, we're we're just um, testing horizons, and yes. we're gonna get there. It's like I said, man. There's just so many beers out there, man. It's like. I'm Can't like, keep up. I'm like I'm I'm like addicted to one brewing uh, brewing company, man. It's like I'm addicted to like like Alvarado. You know, I'm like they come out with beers like every. Yeah, but there's there's like I said before, there's so many good beers out there. I mean, companies are just coming up with like tons of good stuff. Yeah, and not only that, my brother. It's wild. Not only that, my brother hits me up. He's like, "Yo, this this beer coming out, but it's out of state." And it's like. Like, dude, wow. okay, let's, let's do it, man. Let's give yeah. me the four beers, and let me try beers from out of state, man. It's, yeah. And it's more like sour beers, but you know, hey, I'm like, you know what? No, nah, because you know, everyone likes sour beers, but like, for example, like myself, I like the bitter beer. Like, I even like Pinslers. I like blondes. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll blunt, I'll bounce around. And that's what we stuff. need to, we need to, yeah, bring it into our podcast. And like you said, the pinslers we gotta we gotta present them. We gotta present yeah. them. But I got Chef John about to bring the desserts. Are you gonna eat anymore? Are you good? I'm good right now. All right. So Chef John's about to bring out the desserts. We have yes. our last beer coming up. So he's about to drop our last dessert beer, guys. And, and we, let's pull out the last beer. What let's we go. got? What we got? Yeah, pull out the last dessert one. Beer? Okay, yeah. let's do it. Pull out the last one. Then Chef John's gonna come. This in is women. a great notion. Portland, Oregon again. Yes, it's called the Berry Pusher. It's a it's a tart ale, kind of like sour. tart ale. Yeah. So this is a five percent beer. It has a lot of fruit. It's got strawberry, blueberry, and honey. And what that is? Is it local honey or no? Do you know? No, that I don't know, bro. But fair enough. Fair enough, man. Uh, what's the IBUs? The IBUs, man. You know what? That's a good question. It's. Just, we gotta just try it, bro. All right, fair let's, enough. Let's, 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 give, let's give it a go. All right, Chef John, let's drop the food, baby. A tart beer with a fruit tart, correct? Yes. Yes. As Will said, we got from Creative International Pastry. Oh, man. We got a fruit tart with a beautiful Savion cream to match. A little Picasso-looking type <laughs> of plate. But you guys enjoy it. Here's your fork. Thank you, sir. I'm like, yeah, where's our fork, bro? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Pour the beer. Yeah, pour the beer, bro. Come oh, on, man. I get excited. Yeah. I'm not a sweet tooth, but this looks so good. Guys, look at this. And ladies, look at that. Oh, my God. What do you see, bro? It's almost like rain sometimes. Key lime, strawberries. I mean, it's somewhat healthy. Oh man! Probably not the custard. Raspberries. But... Oh, I see that. That's that tart beer right there. You it almost looks that? like kombucha. Yeah, you know what? It's, speaking of IBU, man, I don't think it's. Uh, I think when it comes to IBUs, it's more like a hazy type, bro. But I don't know. I could. I could be wrong, though. You could be wrong. Yeah. You know. We will follow up on, with you guys. On that one, I will do my research on If you guys want to fact check us, leave the comments on please, below. Man. We will respond to you. Remember, if there's any beers you guys want us to try, please. Um, I know there was a Stevie D left a comment. He wants us to try a peanut butter stout. Yes. 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 On the next one, uh, yeah. Let's, let's do stouts, man. We can well, we'll do, we'll do a mixture of stuff and things like that. Yes. So, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. So. Nice. There you go, man. Yeah. What do you, so you want to dip into the beer, or how do you want to do it? Always smell test. Yes. Let's do our smell. Oh, bro, it smells like pancakes, dude. <laughs> uh, I, I had to put it down because it smells so good. Oh, that smells <laughs> super good. Oh, my God. That smells fire. 
Guys, blueberry pancakes, like literally. Yes. I don't know about the taste, but the smell. Yes, and right. uh, hopefully, we'll with, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll have my cousin. Well, we got blueberries yes. and berries. Yes, but like mm -hmm. I'm saying, hopefully the next couple, on the next episode or the next two or three, you know, we'll have a special guest, my cousin Mondo, maybe my brother. He, 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 we'll, we'll we'll keep jamming people along. Yes. So. Um, yes. And this is a five point five, yeah. Five point five. Five point five. It's a like a low key beer right there. All right. All, all right. Let's, let's give it a go, man. Let's go. Let's taste. And let's eat. Let's, cheers, bro. I'll let you have the first sip. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, what do you think? Good. That's good. That's like sweet now. It's like bubble gum a little bit. Wow. Big league chew. Wow. <laughs> yes. That is super All right, good. Let's try some of this. I'm going to have to refill on that one because that one's really good. Let's try some of this fruit tart. How's that fruit tart? Mm. All right, guys. That is ridiculous. And I ain't gonna lie. That I, is... I requested this. I requested this. Y'all having fruit tart or like a fruit salad and you guys want a, a good beer? Oh. Oh, my God. John. Berry pusher. John. Oh man. Yeah, John came through. Like always. No. It goes, it international goes, pastries, dude. Yes. They're coming legit, yes. man. They have good stuff. Again, in the dog patch, Jolt and Bolt, support. Support the locals, mm. bro. That oh, is good. That is fire, bro. Oh, my God. No lie. If I was hungover and I was having pancakes, <laughs> drink that as my bloody mary dude <laughs> you probably will have a hangover the next I day bro Come i would on. drink that as i'm hung over <laughs> with my breakfast forget the bloody mary bro we're having this mm. oh man hey bro, stumbling out of the room i'm not gonna lie but hung over i'm not gonna yeah if it was that i hop i asked for freaking <laughs> pancakes and that and i'm like Getting the fresh fruit in that, and I'm drinking oh, a freaking beer. I ain't gonna lie, but oh yeah, I killed the hangover. The fast. dessert beer and the mm. dessert it blended perfectly, bro. Oh, it's right? so good. Go with the custard. It, you know what? And speaking of Chef, break, there's custard in this, right? Yes, there is custard. And speaking of Break Notion, they're known for tart and sour beers, man. But man, that this beer and the dessert it blended. So I'm like, so good. Mm. I didn't even eat any of the bread. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Really? Mm. Let me ask you a question. How you feeling? I feel good. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I always feel good. Yeah, I'm feeling good. At the end of all of our episodes, I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good too, bro. Well, ours was like a mountain. We went from low, high, <laughs> low, low, and, and then, super low. Well, that's how it should be done. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're out having drinks, you should start with something in the middle. Yes. Once you get a good buzz, you get a kick. You get a kick. Drop it down with Drop dinner, it down. And then your dessert. So when you get home, you're not sloppy. Exactly. You don't want someone sloppy. No, you definitely no, don't want to go home. Not at all. Yes. So, you know, yeah. so good. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm, I'm, you know what? The beers we had to, tonight, I think we did good. Yeah, I think we, we did, did good. good. I think we did good. Yes. But we're going to end it on that note, yes. guys. Um, please, Hit that Cellar like. Maker. San Francisco Brewery. San Francisco Brewery. Moonraker. Moonraker, Auburn. And Great Notion. Yes. Portland, Oregon. Yes. Please smash that like button. Please, guys. You know, we're coming up with more beers. Um, please leave the comments on below. At, as well as I leave all the beers in the bottom yes. of our chat, please add us on Instagram as well. Please. And we're posting beers that we're drinking yes. on a regular basis. On Not even regular. what we're... Um, 
presenting as well. Yes. So just check us out yes. and we'll go from there. You guys have a wonderful night. Yes. Ladies and gems, please hit that smash, smash that like button. Please. And we'll see you guys on our next episode. Have a good night. Hazy heads. Yes.